Job chapter 19. Then Job answered, How long will you torment me and break me in pieces with words? These ten times you have cast reproach upon me, and you not ashamed to wrong me. And even if it is true that I have erred, my error remains with me. If indeed you magnify yourselves against me, and make my humiliation an argument against me. Know then that God has put me in the wrong, and closed his net around me. Even when I cry out, violence, I am not answered. I call aloud, but there is no justice. He has walled up my way so that I cannot pass, and he has set darkness upon my paths. He has stripped my glory from me and taken the crown from my head. He breaks me down on every side, and I am gone. He has uprooted my hope like a tree. He has kindled his wrath against me, and counts me as his adversary. His troops come on together. They have thrown up siege works against me, and encamp around my tent. He has put my family far from me, and my acquaintances are wholly estranged from me. My relatives and my close friends have failed me. The guests in my house have forgotten me. My serving girls count me as a stranger. I have become an alien in their eyes. I call to my servant, but he gives me no answer. I must myself plead with him. My breath is repulsive to my wife. I am loathsome to my own family. Even young children despise me. When I rise, they talk against me. All my intimate friends abhor me, and those whom I loved have turned against me. My bones cling to my skin and to my flesh, and I have escaped by the skin of my teeth. Have pity on me, have pity on me, O you, my friends, for the hand of God has touched me. Why do you, like God, pursue me, never satisfied with my flesh? O oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me. If you say how we will persecute him, and the root of the matter is found in him, be afraid of the sword, for wrath brings the punishment of the sword, so that you may know there is a judgment. Job chapter 20 Then Zophar the Namathite answered, Pay attention, my thoughts urge me to answer, because of the agitation within me. I hear censure that insults me, and a spirit beyond my understanding answers me. Do you not know this from from of old? Ever since mortals were placed on earth, that the exalting of the wicked is short, and the joy of the godless is but for a moment. Even though they mount up high as the heavens, and their head reaches to the clouds, they will perish forever like their own dung. Those who have seen them will say, Where are they? They will fly away like a dream and not be found. They will be chased away like a vision of the night. The eye that saw them will see them no more, nor will their place behold them any longer. Their children will seek the favor of the poor, and their hands will give back their wealth. Their bodies, once full of youth, will lie down in the dust with them. Though wickedness is sweet in their mouth, though they hide it under their tongues, though they are loath to let it go and hold it in their mouths, yet their food is turned in their stomachs. It is the venom of asps within them. They swallow down riches and vomit them up again. God casts them out of their bellies. They will suck the poison of asps. The tongue of a viper will kill them. They will not look on the rivers, the streams flowing with honey and curds. They will give back the fruit of their toil and will not swallow it down, 
From the profit of their trading they will get no enjoyment. For they have crushed and abandoned the poor. They have seized a house that they did not build. They knew no quiet in their bellies. In their greed they let nothing escape. There was nothing left after they had eaten. Therefore their prosperity will not endure. In full sufficiency they will be in distress. All the force of misery will come upon them to fill their belly to the full. God will send his fierce anger into them and rain it upon them as their food. They will flee from an iron weapon. A bronze arrow will strike them through. It is drawn forth and comes out of their body, and the glittering point comes out of their gall. Terrors come upon them. Utter darkness is laid up for their treasures. A fire fanned by no one will devour them. What is left in their tent will be consumed. The heavens will reveal their iniquity, and the earth will rise up against them. The possessions of their house will be carried away, dragged off in the day of God's wrath. This is the portion of the wicked from God, the heritage decreed for them by God.